Hello, in this video I'm going to demonstrate uh, Capture One's presets and styles. Now we're probably all used to presets in programs like Lightroom, but Capture One goes about it slightly differently, offering both presets and a thing called styles. Uh, they do work together, but they can be used individually, and I'll show you how it works. It's really quite flexible and quite interesting. So I'm going to start off with this uh, seaside scene. I'm going to make an adjustment to darken the sky a little, reduce the saturation, and make it look a bit more wintry. So for this, I need to be in the adjust panel. I'm going to open the color editor. I need to be in advanced mode. And I'm just going to click the eyedropper to select the sky color. I'll quickly make my adjustment now. I just want to bring down the lightness somewhat Perhaps bring down the saturation a little. And I do tend to, with this effect, just shift the hue a little bit towards the cyan. So I won't go into a lot of detail on that because this is just a demonstration. The point now is that I can save this advanced color adjustment as a preset within this panel. So if I go to this menu here, you'll see there are a bunch of presets in there, some of which come with Capture One, some of which I've added myself. So I'll save custom presets. And I'm going to call this RL Winter Sky 2 because I have a preset of that name already. So I'll save that. And now, if I open this menu, I'll see it's been added. Uh, and I can just cycle between these different uh, color presets and they're previewed live on the image. So that's fine. Let's see how this works on another image. So let's try this out on this image. I'll open the menu again and I can cycle through my presets to see what they look like. And here's the one I just added a few moments ago. I've got a stronger version here than I made some time before. So if I just select that, there we are. It's applied to the image. This isn't the only place you can apply presets. So if I go to the style menu and look under custom presets, I'll see that there is a section for the color editor and my custom presets are there as well. So here's another place you can apply these presets. Now, the key thing about these presets is that they apply just one adjustment. Uh, what if we want to apply more than one? So let's take this image, for example. Uh, I can go ahead and I can go into the color editor panel and I can use my winter sky preset again. But I also want to do something about the contrast, I think. And I do actually have in the curve panel another preset I've made, which I call low punch, which just lifts, lifts the brighter tones in the image, but still gives you lots of uh, contrast in the darker tones. So if I choose that, I've now got two adjustments applied to my image. Now, what if I like this combined effect? I can't say this as a preset because it uses two different tools. So what I do this time is I save it as a style. And to do this, you go to the adjustments menu and you choose styles. And let's save a custom style. Now what you need to be aware of here is that this will save everything you've done to this particular image, which may not be what you want. So I've got a bunch of things I've already done to this image. I know that I've done some things with the exposure. We don't need that. We'll deselect that. In the levels and curves section, I don't want any levels adjustments. I think I've applied some already. So we'll get rid of that. We only want the curve. And in the color panel, well, that's fine. We just want the color editor advanced settings. Uh, composition, no, because I think I've cropped and rotated this uh, and everything else is clear. So that's fine. I've just got the two adjustments I want selected, so I click Save. So let's see how this works on a final image. Let's, uh, let's choose this one. Now I can go back to the Style panel, open this, and this time I'm looking for custom styles rather than custom presets. If I go down the list, there's the one I just made. It's applied instantly in real time. If I click it to confirm that, there's my new custom style applied to my image. So that's a very quick tour of how Capture One presets and styles work together. It's actually quite a sophisticated and useful and versatile system. Uh, I think you'll find it very useful. 
So that's it for this video. See you next time.